mostly weight loss and sports specific, a lot of things. About 14 years ago, I developed this body fat contest idea because I was trying to motivate my clients to um, get in better shape, and I found that if they can eat better, they get results quicker. Very simple. I didn't want to do nutrition, be nutritionist, and all that stuff. I'm a trainer, but I'm not going to get results with my clients unless they're eating properly, so that's why I rely so heavily on nutrition. So we came up with this body fat contest idea, and we ran our first body fat contest. I think it was like a $200 prize, and a year later, we ran another one. I think it was like a $500 prize, and over the four, last 14 years, the contest has built out, and now we run three a year. And last year, we won 2011, we gave out over $17,000 to wow. nine different people, top three in each, each contest. So it's really has grown, it's become this big thing, and, and uh, people are doing better and better, and we have better and better results. Um, we put this booklet into effect maybe a year ago or a year and a half. So come with the book, and every time we're in a contest, we upgrade the booklet, and we get new ideas and new things that are working for people. And, and there's a lot of very, very good information here which we're going to go over. Um, my background's in the beginning. I have a BS in exercise science and records, um, certified holistic nutrition through my guru, Paul Check. I think he's probably the best around. Um, and some other post rehab certifications, things like that. And um, through all my continued education and college and just demonstrating on myself for many, many years, um, I found what has worked well for losing body fat and what hasn't. Um, there's a lot of myths out there that, that people who aren't into our business don't realize and are doing a lot of wrong things. And tonight I'm going to show you what some of those are. So we'll go over that. So um, we're going to go over um, four keys tonight for fat loss or rapid fat loss. And uh, the first one that we have on here, and everything's in your book that you can take notes if you want, the first four or five pages. First thing you need to do is you need to eat less as the day goes on. So um, most people I deal with, they sit down and meet with them, and, and they're going, um, have some people come in. Let's hold on one second. We should have been the books up here. I'm going to introduce Ian, and then we're going to start. Come on, bro. I'm going to go through this information if you still come in. Okay. Anyway, this is Ian. Ian works nice. at Dean's. Um, Dean's uh, has two natural health food stores, one in um, Shrewsbury, one in o Ocean. And, uh, I believe in eating organic and, and eating a certain way, and, and they provide a lot of products you won't find in supermarkets. We'll be discussing some tonight and all throughout the challenge. But the, they have a special offer for you guys, and uh, he'll let you know what's all about. All right. Guys, if you can, if you don't mind, just take a moment passing around. My name's Ian. I'm with Dean's Market, as Mike just told you. I've been with the company about three years as their produce manager uh, in one of their locations right here in Shrewsbury. Have any of you guys been to uh, our stores before? see some familiar faces. Um, well, we're here because we really um, believe that our mission is very much in line with Mike's mission about promoting healthy eating and promoting organic foods. And we wanted to support that and be involved in our community. So we found this was a great way to do it. So we like to offer you guys 10% um, off your entire shopping order. Uh, it excludes any sale items, of course, that are already aggressively priced. But, um, and that's through the month of February while you guys are doing your challenge. Um, you know, we have a lot of experienced people there, on staff nutritionists and nutrition managers. If you have any questions um, and you're in our store, we're glad to help you out. Um, any produce needs that you guys may have, any special requests, something that we don't carry, we want to work with you and try and help you. We take special orders all the time. We bring something in. Uh, just to support you guys in your challenge. Uh, we do it all the time, and we also have our all-organic juice bar. Makes fresh juices, smoothies, protein shakes. Uh, we do, you know, special requests on those as well. So if you guys have any special needs through your diet that you need us to help you with, we do that all the time. We just want to support you guys. Um, and wish you luck through your challenge. All right, so you guys can fill those out. I'm going to hang around for a little while. If you want to fill them out, pass them over to me, that's fine. Or next time you're in the store, before you get your order rung up, make sure that gets to a store manager. We have Trisha and Rochelle in our two locations that are in charge of each store. And uh, we'll make sure you guys get the, uh, the, the discount so we can support you on your way, okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions for me? Well, we'll see. That was easy. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so come have a sit in, squeeze in, don't uh, be in the back. If anybody needs to leave early, I won't uh, make fun of you. I feel bad. I know we all have busy lives and children and all these crazy things, so don't feel bad. We have to leave. So there's some seats over here. If you don't want to be in the front row, you can, you know. I need something to demonstrate on. Oh, no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Um, we have some more people in, but we basically went over um, the history of the challenge and who I am and everything. And now we're starting to get into um, the four main re the four keys to rapid fat loss. And the first key, which we just about discussed, is number one: you need to eat less as the day goes on. Most people that I work with, they first come in, I start, okay, what do you eat? What do you usually have? This and that. And it's like, well, I wake up in the morning, I go grab some coffee. And I run out the door, and I get the kids on the bus, and I'm at work. And uh, then I'm working at my desk all day, and I might grab a salad real quick. And then I come home, and uh, around five o'clock, I turn into a witch. I start yelling and screaming, or the, the husband is, you know, yelling and screaming. And then I just eat and I eat and I eat and I eat, and I have a real big meal. So that's typically what I say. Um, no, so. Um, if you look at the concept, eat less today goes on. That's pretty much backwards to, to what we what we believe. Um, if you look at your activity level during the day, you know, wake up in the morning, get the kids ready, get yourself ready, you're out the door, your body's moving around, you're at work, you're up, you're down. Um, maybe the kids after school, you're helping them with their homework. And, but if you look at what you're doing, you go to gym, you work out, your body's moving. And you're breathing more times per minute, your heart rate's beating more times per minute, your oxidative rate's going, your metabolic rate's going, your system's turned on and it's going. So if you put most of your food in your body during the first part of the day, your body's going to turn and burn it off. So eat breakfast, eat lunch, snacks. As you're moving throughout the day, your furnace is turned on and it's burning it off. At the end of the day, look at your activity level. It's the complete opposite. Maybe six, seven o'clock at night, you get home, kids are in bed, homework's done, maybe six, seven, eight. You sit down for an hour or two, maybe you work at the computer, maybe do some paperwork, maybe sit down and watch TV, and then you go to bed and you sleep six, eight, maybe 10 hours. So at the end of the day, you're kind of inactive. All right, so. If you're eating most of your calories at the end of the day, and you're breathing less per minute, and your heart rate's going to be a true resting heart, heart rate, and it's less per minute, your oxidative rate's slowing down, your metabolic rate's slowing down, you're simply getting ready for a temporary hibernating phase, which is sleep. So everything's getting turned down. So if you dump a lot of food on it at the end of the day, what happens? Is your body moving around and turning and burning it? No, it's not. It's just sitting there. And it's sitting and it's sitting. And what happens is it gets stored. It gets stored as fat. So after a couple of days, weeks, months, and years, all of a sudden you look down you're like, where'd that come from? It just gradually creeps up on you. That, that's what happens. So if we eat less the day goes on, if we can build a big breakfast, and for most people here today, we're talking about a 400 calorie breakfast, and then we feed them about a 300 calorie lunch, and then dinner is 200 calories. Smallest meal of the day, we eat less as the day goes on. And we put in a snack in between breakfast and lunch, about 150 calories, about another 150 calories in between lunch and dinner. And then we can draw a line right here. And I say, oh, what time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast around seven. Three hours later, your snack should be around 10. We need to eat about every three hours, and I'll explain why pretty soon. Lunch is around one, snack here is around four, and then dinner is around seven. That's if you eat at seven, about every three hours. You have breakfast at 8, it's 11, it's 2, it's 5, and it's 8 every three hours. And again, this could be 7 to 9, this could be 10 to 12. You like have about a two hour leeway 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9. But all I know is about a, by about 5 or 6 o'clock at night, which is usually witching hour. But anyway, if I add up all my calories, I'm eating about 1,000 calories out of my 1,200 calories before 5 or 6 at night. Here, what am I doing during the day? I'm moving, taking care of the children. I'm working, I'm working out. My engine's on, my furnace is on, I'm burning. So I'm putting this food in, I'm burning off at the end of the day. I have my dinner and I have a small amount of calories sitting on me while I'm sleeping at night. So I'm not gonna store it as fat. It's a really important concept. Most people, this thing is turned upside down. Mm -hmm. It's 200 after five. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice and say 1,000 after six. A lot of times it's more than that. And this, this is what we need to do. We need to turn things around. A lot of people say, Mike, I'm not hungry enough to eat 